Well, we all know these frigid temperatures are not a sure sign to shut down school in Montana. Although temperatures and wind chill make for dangerous conditions, there's a lot that plays into these daily decisions. That includes constant communication between school officials, bus officials, and weather experts. District 2 Superintendent Greg Upham says there's a lot to consider in the big picture. Well, it's just not as easy as canceling school because for some of our students, it's the only food they get for one and there's safety and security there. Um, we also have a workforce that um, depends on us to do our job and so that they can do their job. So it's all it's all intermingled. But, you know, it, it does come down to safety. And as I as I visit with our meteorologists, um, they give me worst case scenarios because that's what we'll base decisions off of. And so um, we're looking at some cold temps and uh, we'll monitor it through the week. Uh, at this point in time, we plan on being in school throughout the week. Uh, but if that changes, uh, we'll make those announcements and we'll watch it very closely. And Upham says, make sure to get your contact information with the school updated for future robocalls and emails. He says parents and students should know where the alternate bus routes are. Make sure your children are dressed for the weather and please wait at the bus stop with them until the bus picks them up. There's a complete list of safety tips and links to connect you with the district in this story at KTVQ.com. And Upham is certain to point out that parents have a right to keep their children home if they feel it's unsafe having them walk or waiting for a bus.